Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing and review of the Mondo Llama 24 count colored pencils. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so as you guys know, um, well, as you guys might know, I recently picked up the Mondo Llama Hues of You, so basically their skin tone set, and I looked online right before filming on Target, that is $5. Uh, this one was actually $3. They do have a 72 count set for like 25 or $30, and I'm not sure exactly how I like these pencils. Um, I know I like the hues of you. They definitely feel better than a Crayola to me. And so um, I was in uh, Target yesterday anyway, so I thought I would pick these up. I'm going to take them out of the box, and then I'm going to sort them in a color order, and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the pencils included in the 24 count. Now, I am not a swatcher. I will not be swatching out these pencils. Uh, I will be showing you in a coloring book in just a minute, uh, just giving you my first opinion on how they feel. And when I do my completed pages at the end of the month, I will have more thoughts on this because I'm just basically, I pick a color, I use it, and I figure out from there. But I did want to show you a somewhat of a comparison, and hopefully that stays in screen. So these are my Faber-Castell Albert Durer watercolor pencils. Uh, this is a 24 count. Uh, if you were to get the 24 count Faber-Castell polychromos, they would be exactly the same colors. Now, am I saying these are a dupe? Absolutely not. I haven't even tested these. But I find it interesting from a 24 pencil set colorway that this one has a pink. <laughs> no, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I am very much a proponent of a pink colored pencil because I find it hard to create pink with colored pencil. And so that it has a, a pink pencil automatically um, makes this an interesting set to me. By way of colorway, and I didn't realize this because I didn't have this open when I was doing this, but just from the way the pencils are, if I kind of line these up. Again, I would never class this as a dupe. And in fact, they're kind of weird in here as well. But if you're looking at a basic color set, it, it has a nice range of colors. Now, one of this is blue and the other one is purple. So I'll make sure when I do the coloring testing that I'll show you guys in just a second um, to put those both on the page to see because the barrels are very similar but there seems to be a nice enough range that if you wanted to color a page you'd have all of the colors now I'm definitely a person who doesn't layer or blend and so I like to have more colors the 72 count at like 30 bucks did not seem worth the money for me especially since I know how the hues work and those colors are not replicated here uh, but I wasn't sure how I would feel about these. So, and so I wasn't going to drop, you know, that kind of money just to have a complete set fulfillment because I know some people are like that. But let me put those away. Let me put these off to the side and I will choose a couple of coloring books to test this on. All right, so the co first coloring book I'm going to just do a quick tester on is this World of Flowers by Joanna Basford. Uh, I did show you guys this last month where I did a little bit of a tester with the Mondo Llama hues of you i think that's what it's called pencils and so i still need to finish that and so i think we'll choose maybe one or two of these bugs just to do some color combos on here uh, just so i can give you my first impressions on how they feel and let's actually go with these two here which is purple and blue uh, they are silver writing they do have the name in english and i believe spanish I'm not 100% sure. They do come pre-sharpened. I will try them out just sharpened out of the box. And if they don't lay down very nicely, I will sharpen them to see if there's a coating on here. Um, but let's choose three pencils. Let's go for 
these three right here. And again, not sharpened. I'll try to see so I don't get any shadows. All right, that feels a little scratchy. Let me try the blue here. That one definitely feels better. And then pink over top and then I'll sharpen them and then I'll see if they feel different. I still do need to do my pencil review um, where I talk about my recommendations and review the pencils that I own, but that is coming up. Okay, uh, let me sharpen these and I'll be right back. Okay, so they are sharpened and because there's three petals down here, we'll do the same. It definitely feels a little better. To me, they feel more pigmented than a Crayola. Now, from a cost perspective, Crayola pencils uh, still are, are definitely more cost effective. I think for the 50 count, you can get them for like $5. I think the 100 count, well, at least um, on Target and I think even on Amazon, I saw them for like $14. And so from, they are probably one of the cheapest pencils out there that come with an actual name, name brand not one of the Chinese pencils. But the problem I have with Crayolas is that they are very hard pencil and they are not very pigmented. And as someone who deals with pain in her hands due to arthritis, if I'm struggling to get pigment, then that just lessens the amount of time that I can color. Okay, that one definitely laid down better, so you definitely need to sharpen these. I don't find that that's always the case. In some of my other pencils, I've been using them just fine straight out of the packaging. I'm just gonna go over real quick and see if I can kind of layer. I don't do a ton of layering because that just bites into the amount of time that I have at coloring but that does make it look a little bit more seamless than that right there. I don't mind that look, but that one does look a little more interesting. And Joanna, or yeah, Joanna Basford paper uh, doesn't take well to as many pencils as I had thought. So uh, that's a tester in there. I think they work fine in there. I will probably just finish this out in Mondo Llama pencils uh, just because um, it's, it's interesting to me. And then maybe I'll test my other pencils on this page right here because they're segments and so I can mark them out. I can do some journaling. Um, I just, I like adding that aspect to the page, but let me pick another page that has a little bit more tooth. Okay, um, I don't know that this necessarily has more tooth, but it is Create Space paper. Yeah, so, um, I thought I would try something in here and then I'll, I'll choose something with a little more tooth because you guys might have a ton of these Create Space books and you might want to see how they feel on that, at least my thoughts on how they feel on that. So let me choose a page here. And what we're going to work on is some trees. We're going to pull the three greens here. And we'll start, again, these are not sharpened. We'll see how they feel. And we'll work from light to dark. Is that how trees go? Because then underneath this would be dark, this would be medium, this would be light. Now, I generally don't work in pencils in these books 
but I have found that my Artezas work really well and I didn't think they worked well at all in my Joanna Bassford. Um, I have that at work. And so I think it is fun to test out on here. Um, I generally do alcohol marker work. So that color was yellow green, then we'll go into green and then we'll go into dark green and see if we can get a nice gradation. Again, these are just sharpened straight out of the box. I will sharpen them and do this little segment here and see if they feel any different. They do feel a bit scratchy, but again, it could be because they're not sharpened. Oh, the dark green definitely pulls more of like a, a Kelly green to me than that one. That one pulls more of an olive green. Yeah, I would have actually worked just based on the colors, this one to that one to that one. In fact, we'll do that here, but let me sharpen them. Okay, so now knowing the colors, Let's work this way. So we're gonna use the green pencil there because that definitely pulls more olive. Now, if I were coloring this regularly, I would actually be coloring closer to that, but I do want to keep as much shadows off the page as I can. Okay, and then we'll come into green. And I know most people tell you do the circles. Guys, I, I don't care. <laughs> and this is how I would color if I were using pencils in this book. I'm gonna bring it up into the dark green and that definitely actually adds more tone to it, which is nice. And then we'll use the yellow green. And we'll do the same. We'll come down to the base and then bring it up. Now these definitely feel, like I said in, in the Joanna Bassford, they feel way more pigmented than the Crayola. I don't feel the Crayola is pigmented at all, so that doesn't, doesn't mean these are magnificent pencils. Um, I definitely think the Brett Funners feel better than this, but for $3, I'm definitely going to keep them in my arsenal and use them. And I actually think I like that one better, although for the rest of the tree um, and the rest of the trees here, or just my do the rest in all of this in marker. But at least for the rest of this tree, I might change up how the gradation is. But yeah, I think that looks interesting. And I did want to show you on Create Space. I am not someone who burnishes to get rid of the white space, but let's see if that's possible. It already feels like it's not going to take any additional layers. It's definitely less white space than it is up here. You definitely get a richer pigment, but that is significantly harder uh, pushing. That's not something I could um, maintain for very long. Um, in edges like this, it makes sense because it's relatively small, but yeah, it's not going to accept a lot of layers at least not on this paper. It's not something I do a lot of anyway, but yeah, that's what the burnished um, colors would look like. Again, when I color, I would do exactly what I did. I would choose the greens or the colors I'm gonna put down on the page, and I'm not gonna be too concerned whether or not the tones are right, whether or not the shades are right, and I'm just, I'm just gonna color. Okay, so that's in a Create Space book. And now let me find something, probably either a Luna, uh, a Hannah Carlson, or a Kirby uh, that definitely has a little bit more tooth, but isn't Create Space paper. 
All right, I chose Mythomorphia. I think it might be a little bit easier or a little less expensive than the Maria Trolle or the Hannah Carlson books. Let's just choose a random page from this. Okay, so we're gonna use one of these cover pages. Yeah, this one right here with all of the leaves and flowers. This might be interesting to use all of my different um, pencils on just by ways of greens and browns. Or maybe working from greens into reds and browns, like spring and fall. I don't know, that'd be interesting. I live in Hawaii, everything's green here, but you know, whatever. We can play in our coloring books. And so let's see how they feel here. We're actually gonna do the opposite. We're gonna take our darker color. Let me do this one here. And I'm gonna put a swash of color on most of the center. I think it goes on a little smoother, but by way of pigment, I don't see much of a difference between this and the Create Space, to be honest, even though this is definitely thicker paper. Let's do is that yellow green right yeah and honestly I don't think you can tell the difference in the color there mm, I don't know if I like these in here and then this is the green this at all. I mean, it definitely, you can get um, like a translucent kind of look, but I don't like how this feels in my hand and in my shoulder. To get that pigment um, was a, a definitely a lot more difficult than what I did in the Create Space paper. I think this does allow a little bit more blending or layering, but I don't know that that looks very interesting. And I don't want to put this amount of effort into something and then it still looks boring. It doesn't need to look right. I'm not caring about light source or anything. But I definitely want to have my effort equate an interesting thing. Yeah, it's a lot more work than I would want to put into this. Now, I've done pencil work. Again, Brett Funner's work, a treat in the Mythographic or the Kirby books. I did use it in World of Worlds. I don't know that I've used it in here yet, so I can't be super definitive, but I'm assuming that the publishers are the same plume. Yes, so the paper should be the same, but I don't like how that felt on here. On the Joanna Basford paper, worked well enough, works better than Crayola's, probably not as smooth or pigmented as my Brett Funner's, my Prisma's, my Lumi's, but that's to be expected at the price point. Uh, I thought they actually worked fine on the Create Space paper. I am not a fan of how they feel in this, and so I definitely um, will continue in greens, <laughs> uh, but I won't continue with these greens. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was helpful to someone. Again, as someone who doesn't swatch, I don't find them useful at all. I choose the pencils. I go for it. I get what I get. Um, but um, I haven't seen a lot of people review these. If you do have a Target near you, um, they are relatively inexpensive and accessible. The color range is pretty decent. I showed you earlier. And they do have pink. And again, that's... <laughs> That's something I find interesting that most of your basic sets um, don't. All right, well, that was it for me for now. And as always, aloha.